So dear viewers, today we will study transportation system in plants. Have you ever thought how minerals, organic compound and water moves from ground to different part of plant body? What kind of mechanism they follow for transportation? So in this video we will study diffusion, facilitated diffusion and active transport mechanism. So what kind of substance transport in plant? So we know it is water, mineral nutrient, organic nutrient and plant growth regulator. For small distance movement uh, they use diffusion mechanism and active transport mechanism. For longer distance plant has vascular system in their body and this vascular system is created by xylem and phloem and the process by which transportation occurs through xylem and phloem is called translocation. So when we talk about direction of transport in rooted plants, transportation in xylem is unidirectional means root to the stems and what they carry from root to the stem? They carry water and minerals and we also know Photosynthesis process occur in leaves. They create organic compounds and these organic compound transferred from leaves to different part of plant body and also it goes to storage organs. From storage organs they further re-exported into different part of plant body. So mineral nutrients are taken up by root and transport upward into the stems, leaves and growing region. So when any plant undergo some breakdown, so if any part of plant get damaged, plant withdraw its nutrient from that part and transport it to the growing region of plant. So hormone and plant growth regulator, they transport in small amount and in unidirectional way from where they are synthesized to the other part of plant body. So first transportation mechanism we will study is diffusion. Movement by diffusion is a passive process and it doesn't require energy. It occurs over a short distance like from one part of cell to another, one cell to another cell, okay, just for a short distance. And uh, movement of substance occur from higher concentration to lower concentration. Diffusion is a slow process and is not dependent on a living system. So the best medium for diffusion is gases and liquid. So the factor affecting diffusion rates are concentration gradients, the permeability of membrane separating them and temperature and pressure. Mechanism is facilitated diffusion. So we know that if the size of substance is small, it can diffuse very fast. And also if substance are lipophilic in nature, then they can diffuse from our cell very easily. Why? Because we know that our cell is made up of lipid bilayer. So, but there are some substance which contain polar group and they contain a hydrophilic moiety. So, movement of this substance through cell is very difficult. So, how these substance diffuse in a cell? So, in our previous chapter we have studied that our cell membrane contain various protein which help in transportation of particle from outside to inside and inside to outside of the cell membrane. So I will provide link of my previous chapter in the description box of this video. So membrane proteins provide site at which such molecule cross the membrane and they do not set up concentration gradient because concentration gradient is already set up in the system. Their main work is just to transfer this substance from higher concentration to lower concentration. Because substance are moving from higher concentration to lower concentration, it doesn't require any kind of energy for this process. So that is why it is called facilitated diffusion. So whenever your protein which help in transportation if it gets saturated with the substance, then transport mechanism will stop. And also if the concentration gradient on both sides become equal, then this transportation mechanism will stop. So facilitated diffusion is very specific. It only allows some specific substance to move from outer side to inside of the cell. Okay. And if you give some kind of inhibitor which inhibit this protein, this movement of particle will stop so this facilitated diffusion is very specific so you can see in this figure 
some protein remain open and movement of substance takes place from higher concentration to lower concentration until the equilibrium reach and some proteins controlled by some kind of cell signal when cell gives signal to this protein this protein opens and allow particle to move from higher concentration to lower concentration until the concentration reach equilibrium so the protein present on the outer membrane of plastid and mitochondria they are called porins okay and there are some bacteria which allow molecule up to the size of small protein to pass through so this is about facilitated diffusion so there are some term like passive symports and antiports so there are some carrier or transport protein which allow diffusion only if two type of molecules move together in symport both molecule cross the membrane in same direction so substance a required substance b and substance b required substance a for their movement inside the cell if any of the substance missing the other substance will not move inside the cell and same in antiporter if substance b will move out then substance a will move inside if substance b is a absent then a will not move in and uniporter are the substance which are independent of other molecules so next transport mechanism is active transport active transport uses energy for transportation of molecules from low concentration to higher concentration if you are moving substance against the concentration gradient you require some kind of pump in our plant these pumps are specific membrane protein this specific membrane protein bind with substance and move it from low concentration to high concentration which is called uphill transportation so whenever this protein get saturated with this substance this transportation mechanism stop okay and we know that uh, proteins are like enzyme so if you give some inhibitors that inhibit this protein this transport mechanism also stop and proteins are very specific in nature so they carry only specific type of substance from low concentration to higher concentration so in this figure you can see the difference between three transportation mechanism so first one is diffusion in diffusion you can see these substance are diffusing very easily because these substances are lipophilic in nature and our cell membranes are made up of lipid so they easily diffuse without any use of carrier protein or energy next one is facilitated diffusion it requires some kind of carrier protein but it doesn't require any energy and in this also the compound moves from higher concentration to lower concentration okay and in active transportation mechanism you also need a carrier protein and in this substance moves from low concentration to high concentration if you are moving substance from low concentration to high concentration you require some kind of energy and this energy is in the form of atp this was the part 1 of our transportation mechanism in next class we will study plant water system thank you for watching the video